hybrid really is business continuity because that server is going to go down. So you have a digital twin in the cloud, right? Mm-hmm. You know, to run your machines, to run your, your buildings, et cetera. So really they're mutually exclusive and yet mutually inclusive. So I think it really be hybrid will really become business continuity if it, in the local. Secondly, you must have a very robust network policy and strategy because again, not everywhere in the world are the networks as good as what we might experience where we are today, right? So you've got to find, you know, like a diversity, plus you have to find secondary, and in many cases, a third network ingress point to keep everything running when you're in cloud, right? But but I, I do think that the cost has really changed to return on investment because it's really speed now, right? So you don't have to worry about, you know, lighting up and buying infrastructure, going through all that laborious process, capital, blah, 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 and then actually getting it and setting it up. You can just sort of spin up and you're gone, right? And then if you need hybrid for business continuity, it really becomes a business continuity issue, right? And then, you know, like, like we have factories all over the world too. And, you know, we have, we have stuff on site that we manage through the cloud, even though there's physical servers, but they're managed by, by the, the server process or the cloud process. And we constantly flip back and forth to cloud and, and local and no one complains, right? And we're testing our network and make sure. So many times when people say, well, thank God it's local, they've been running on the cloud for six weeks and don't even know it, right? So that to me tells me that we've done the business continuity part correct, right? I think, I believe that's how you have to think of it. Uh, and of course, FinOps is important. You've got to know your costs so you can actually apply it to your return on investment kind of thing. So example, one of the things we're doing, we're partnered with universities and they're running machine learning against the data sets of what's happening in a building. And one of the things they put on someone was a hexoskin, which is measuring breathing rate and heart rate. It's generating one and a half gig of data a day. So in that case, you really want to ship it to the cloud. The decision was no, locally process, send to the cloud only what needs to go to the cloud. So when you, I think when you start to get into some machine learning and AI, you may decide to edge process because it'll be more cost efficient. And I think and going back to the one horror that I see in all of this, I guess the different skill set is cost management. Because I can look and I go, what the hell is wrong with this bill? Oh, I'll fix that. And then 20% reduction. Like we've all seen that. Like you, you don't know what you're getting charged for. Project, they made it so frigging confusing. Like the bathtub's leaking, but you don't know where it's leaking from. Like it's really hard to manage the cost because it's all over the place. And you don't know till after, right? You've exactly. already spent twenty thousand. It's like, well, it's uh, also a business case, right? Though I think you said the business case isn't important, but it is because I think the business case has to be three to five year return on investment, and that has to be proven as well incorporating the scale but also the cost effectiveness and whatever other changes you incorporate so i think the business case in my in my particular situation had to be proven um over five years and and certainly then it, uh, who has to weigh in on it is risk absolutely because there's a disaster recovery component so if you are outsourcing to different vendors you're introducing new relationships but they have to be able to subscribe to whatever SLA and whatever business continuity strategy you have in place. So it, it is a long process, right? But certainly getting there is part of that business case. And I think you just uh, touched on something, risk, right? Yeah. And there are other components to a business case than just the hard dollar or the green dollar, right? There, What's the cost of risk? Mm. And, and risk hits a variety of different components within the business case, right? So that that's another factor that I think is something that needs to be weighed in when we're looking at these business cases and understanding it's not purely a cost component, that there are other factors that come into it. So I can add to that from a board perspective because board understands risk. But when you talk about risk, when you talk about cost, albeit you have to give them the scale of where it's going to be. So so I'll put it on the table. You have to talk to it from a board perspective, from a business case. What does a board understand? What do they need to give you the go ahead? You know, you said, oh, I have eight data centers. You don't want to spend CapEx on that made sense for that board, but I'm on four different boards and four different boards have a whole different perspective on this. And, and it's interesting for me to see the CIOs coming into these boards and trying to rationalize why they are trying to move into hybrids, public, whatever. But I'll just tell you that it's it's not, and I don't know what you've experienced, but it's not always an easy sell to the board because you need to think about what's going to speak to the board. And it's not going to be about hardware. It's going to be about people. They understand people. How do I reskill my people? Oh, do I have to move out my other people? So you, when you're talking to the board, think about what the board is interested in. And it's they're not going to say, you know, kind of how you're doing it. It's just what are you doing and what's the end game? So 
So, Helen, I'll give you a good example. What we recently did is we did an enterprise risk process. Uh, and what we did is we actually highlighted few risks and cybersecurity and uh, IT infrastructure was a key component to it, explaining board where we are. Uh, so we, we look not just uh, plain black and white, we also tied it to enterprise risk, where we are most vulnerable and where the growth and investments need to happen in the next few years. So, and that's how we're justifying to our board in the same language, they understand. They don't understand and they don't need to understand, hey, I'm putting cloud or I'm doing hybrid or private, it doesn't matter to them. How are you evaluating your risks? And then we're tying back into our revenue. How is it going to impact? Uh, because we are in a uh, for-profit model, so we're, non -for we're not non-for-profit, so we always have to evaluate against that. Is it our overall revenue going to get impacted by having a lo longer downtime? So, so we actually been uh, taking a journey that is interesting. We, we were a hybrid cloud. We went to the multi-cloud <clears throat> and then we're going back to hybrid again. Why? Because of security, risk, compliance, business continuity for sure. Uh, and if you haven't been hacked, if you haven't been hit and you don't want to admit it, this is the best strategy to go to hybrid. This really is to be able to recover from it, if ever happened to you. Because multi-cloud worked wonders for us in terms of growth quickly, time to market, all that stuff worked. But the downside of it is that, so that you don't have control. We, we operate in 120 different cities. Um, some of the operations are very small and your, your cost is very high. And so, so there is too many things to take in factors, but ultimately you have to hedge against security and compliance and hybrid is the right way to do for us anyway. So we're moving back now to that environment. Interesting that we turn around, we pushed everybody to go to fully cloud and now we're going back. So. Right, but our hybrid is really for uh, technical debt, right? And I would say I'd get back to the point around your your network operating model, right? Networks have to change. I mean, you don't have to go through the public network to get the public cloud, right? You know, there's interconnects through the telcos, there's MPLS networks, uh, and there's Megaport if you're in a colo data center as well, right? That way you can get straight through, right? So that's part of your cybersecurity and also your business continuity and also your your like ground zero of buildings were very important, right? So again, I think the entire network strategy really makes it more successful. And I think that's where a lot of time has to be spent if you're gonna be successful with all the clouds you have. And on the hybrid, again, the transforming the technical debt and making sure your robust API strategy for cloud also gets plugged into your technical debt so that as you transform your technical debt, it's just a lift and shift. You don't have to wor worry about the integration anymore because it's already already set up and done. So it's also a great training ground for the operating model of the legacy players who still understand technical debt to learn a new API strategy through cloud-based as well. So. I think what we're seeing is that it's happening more and more, the, the, the hybrid approach. And we've seen organizations in various industries that have been on a cloud-first strategy. Um, they've made the statement that they're closing data centers and you know, by this year we will be done. But as I mentioned before, for a variety of reasons, whether it's data residency, whether it's security, whether it's cost there or or availability of resources for that matter, because uh, I think there was a comment earlier that the scarcity of resources also lends itself to cost, but they're making the decision to to pull back or at least slow down. Right. And that hybrid approach is what they're embracing moving forward. So I, we are seeing that more and more with, with with customers, with organizations that we're working with. We've seen those that are have you know had a multi-year cloud first strategy start to slow down and talk about what you were just saying, where you know going back to the board and explaining to them, here are the reasons why we are going to change our direction. Not radically, but we are we, we think we have a better approach now. So we're seeing it more and more prevalently, probably over the last twelve to eighteen months. And it's cost related too. So I know everybody said cost is not important, but it is. And I don't know how you can you know, explain that without actual cost involved in it. So for us, uh, moving into that sort of hybrid, just changing some of those elements of it, it actually helped us to maintain the cost as well. 
predictability uh, or? workload managing it correctly uh, they are nowadays most of the services are offered in a cloud native model are consumption based which makes it even worse because um, if you start using it you're just spending so much money without controls in it so we all those plays in from a from a cost containment so we're doing that as well to contain the cost because we obligated to operate it smooth as we can we can't just say you know it's very expensive let's just spend it it's not going to be um easy to translate that to the leadership and everything else within the board is going to be killed and i and in our organization we actually experiencing it now because we are commercial risk has been hit very hard and every everybody and, and we really are penny counting many things happen like that now you have all this investment made and you have to maintain it uh, i wish we were bank because we could have regulatory <laughs> follow and say money but 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 you know we are not driven you know that way in the same aspect and then operating globally uh you know things can change you know the the war changed and it, it hit us a lot because we, our main center of development was in ukraine and we, we had to move that there's tons of things like that cost does play